Yo, hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So, I'm Nibberfruit and in this video I'm going to show you how to unlock this quest reward skin right here, which is the Blazing Fire Cerberus. So this is going to be like the first bonus edit style for the Cerberus uh, uh, skin. And of course it's going to include these right here, the Moon Bow Breezer uh, Glider, which is for Artemis. As you can see it has like the bow and the arrows. The icon, which is this right here with the Cerberus keys, you got three keys. And of course the uh, weapon wrap, the Flash of Lightning, which I'm pretty sure is for Zeus. So to unlock all of this stuff, you need to complete a total of 20 quests from week 0 all the way to week 3. So as you can see, Epic Games has already like announced this. So this is it right here. Complete 20 quests from week 0 through week 3 to earn the Blazing Fire Server style. Uh, this goes live on April the 8th, 2024. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's in a couple of days from now. But in this video, again, I'm going to include all the quests from week 0 all the way to week 3. So it's going to be week 0, week 1, week 2, and week 3. And once you complete 20 quests in total, you want to unlock not only this skin, but also the other cosmetics that I showed you earlier. So yeah, without further ado, here are all the quests. Enjoy! For this week zero quest, essentially you have to visit Mount Olympus and the underworld. So we're gonna start with Mount Olympus over here. So all you gotta do is just make your way to this spot over here, which is gonna be right at this location. And that's Mount Olympus. As you can see, it's a giant PY with a very cool statue at the top. And of course, the, uh, <laughs> the clouds around it. I did not know that these clouds are actually real, like close-up clouds. That's pretty cool. So all you gotta do is just land here. You don't really need to do much. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Here we are, and hope. So this counts as landing and visiting uh, uh, Mount Olympus. Now we're gonna make our way to the underworld, which is right over here. All right, here we are. So we're gonna make our way to that spot right there. So the underworld is supposed to be uh, like there's. That's where you're gonna find the Hades NPC, the Hades boss. Just in case you are looking for him, and it looks sick, man. Like from afar, it looks super, super sick. I like this like castle vibes. Going for it. And if you're wondering, that is Grimgate underneath me, by the way. So I'm just gonna make our way to that location. And once we hit it, it should complete the quest. So let's go ahead. Also, a lot of people are gonna be landing here just because of the mythic and the boss. So it's gonna be very contested. But we're only here to visit, not here to stay. Here we go. And we'll land right around here. Here we go. And there it is. So that's the quest completed. Beautiful. For this week's zero quest, essentially you have to hit three headshots with uh, the Hunter's DMR. You need to headshot opponents. And when it says opponents and not enemy players, this can actually work on NPCs. So this is the Hunter's DMR, as you can see. You can literally find this uh, everywhere on the map. Just open chests and you find it randomly. Or if you want the mythic version of it, you can also defeat Zeus right here at Mount Olympus and you will get it. But uh, in case you find it just randomly, which is the best way to do it. Okay, <laughs> I did not expect that guy to literally walk, uh, walk in. So let me just heal up again, and we're gonna summon the uh, summon the uh, the uh, the boss. Let me just grab this. Yeah, this this looks good. All right, so we're gonna go to the altar. Again, this is the altar icon right here. And once we summon the bosses, we can. Oh my god, this is such a contested place, dude. Okay, I'm gonna make some chaos here. I'm gonna summon the boss. There we go. And now we're gonna hunt them with the Hunter uh, DMR. Just aim for the head. That should count as headshots. There we go. And there we go. That's two out of three. And there it is. As you can see, the quest has been completed super, super fast. Just do it this way, and that should complete the quest. For this week's zero quest, essentially you have to mantle in different named locations. So make your way to any of these named locations, for example, Grim Gate right here. And all you gotta do is just mantle. But I hear somebody underneath me, so I'm gonna try to be careful here. And I'm gonna mantle here. Mantle again. Mantle again. <laughs> so you mantle by uh, holding uh, holding space on a ledge. And that counts as mantling, as you can see. Let's dash here. Okay, let me check the progress. Let's go over here. So there we go. Mantle in different name locations. 
Dude, leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. Man, this new season is so chaotic, dude. So, we mantled at this location, which is Grimgate. Now we're gonna make our way to uh, Pleasant Piazza right here. Because it's near the water. And in case you don't know, if you step into this corrupted water, you will get three dashes. So with that, we're gonna just keep traveling along them. This is the best location, by the way, to do this. Because as you can see, you have very, very high mobility. Here we are. And hop. Almost there. Let me just grab this. Now, if you make your way to uh, Pleasant Piazza over here and we mantle, it should count as our third mantle. Man, I missed this spot, dude. <laughs> I've been landing in the new location so many times, I completely forgot about these. So, we're gonna mantle here on top of this ledge. Again, you just simply pick a ledge, as you can see right there, and you hold space. Mantle here and here. And let me see. Yeah, there we go. So three out of five. And as you can see, the locations have been uh, uh, like reduced. So now I can do it in all of the other locations. Make sure it is a named location, meaning it's a location that has a name on top of it. And yeah, just do this in five named locations. And that should be the quest. For this week's zero quest, so you have to eliminate players with gatekeeper shotgun. So once you find yourself a gatekeeper shotgun, which is this right here, as you can see, you can just start eliminating players. I think I have a bot following me here. So let's go ahead and eliminate them. Okay, that bot kind of disappeared, but I see some people over here. So let's go and say hello. There it is, nice. Oh my god, I almost lost that dude. So yeah, that's the basic idea. Just eliminate three people with the gatekeeper shotgun. This is what it looks like. It's a very easy shotgun to find. You can find it literally everywhere. Just do that and that should come the quest. For this week's zero quest, so you have to hit players within five seconds of falling. So as you can see, we got a player here. You just make, you, make sure that you fall by jumping like this. So let me just get a nice... And hop. So I'll just damage him. I think he ran away, but let me just go here. So that should count. Yeah, there we go. Hit players within five seconds of falling. So even if you use the Zeus Mythic, it counts as falling because you jump in the air. Oh my god, dude, this guy. <laughs> All right, we'll go over here and we'll dash. And we'll hide here. And again, if you're playing uh, build mode as well, you can just build a little ramp. And fall off of it. Oh my god, I, I, I'm still new to this, so I really accidentally activated that. But again, if you're playing in build mode, you can also uh, build a little ramp, jump off of the ramp, and then deal damage to opponents. You just need to hit them once, and that will count. Just do this 10 times in total, and that should be the quest. For this week's zero quest, is you have to emote in different matches. So you're gonna have to jump into five different matches, and in each match, you wanna land as fast as you can, or maybe just go to another quest if you are trying to do something else, just to make this uh, as quick and as efficient as possible. So, for example, we're gonna land at Grim's Gate right here, right over here at this location. Doesn't really matter where you land as long as you emote. And in case you don't know how to emote, it's basically gonna be your interact button. So, for me, it's gonna be uh, B on PC. So, I'm gonna click B here and just emote as you can see. Just do this. Do this. So, those should count as emotes. And yeah, there it is. As you can see, one out of five. But I can't do any, any more. I need to exit the game and do it again. So make sure to remember to do this in different games. And yeah, that's it. For this week one seasonal quest, so you have to collect five mythic weapons. So this like could sound hard to do, but it actually isn't. Because there are these new Olympus chests that actually give you a mythic weapon every time you open one of them. All you have to do is just know where they are. So if you go to Mount Olympus, uh, obviously Mount Olympus is going to have at least like five of those chests. But actually around Mount Olympus itself, for example, this spot right here, this spot right here, which is where we're going, should have a uh, an Olympus chest. Of course, the spawn rate is not 100%, so sometimes they're there. Sometimes they're not. So I'm going to show you like the best way to do it. Luckily, we found the first one right here. As you can see, there it is. That's going to be our first mythic weapon. Here we go. You can also challenge one of the gods, but I don't recommend it because people are going to people are going to stop you and they're going to ruin your day. Trust me. So that's uh, our first uh, uh, like open chest. But sadly, it didn't give us a mythic weapon. It gave us the Icarus wings. What we're aiming for is the uh, Thunderbolt. So we're going to take the Icarus wings. 
And we're gonna go over here. Oh, oh my god, man. I can't believe I, <laughs> I screwed that up. Let's wait one second. And we'll go again. Come on. There we go. And let's boost. This spot also has one more uh, Olympus chest. So let's land here. Here it is. Nice, there we go. So this is our first mythic weapon. We'll grab that. Let me change this. And now we're gonna fly again. These are very important, by the way, for, uh, for rotation. You are gonna need these wings. So the second location... Oh my god, dude. Leave me alone. I'm making a video. And we'll do this. And we'll do this. He's probably looking at me, so I'm gonna go behind this rock. Yeah, he's looking. So the second one is gonna be at this edge right here. As you can see. Here we are. So this is the second one. You can hold multiple uh, charges of Zeus, by the way. So this is two mythic weapons. Let me just heal up again, guys, for a second. I'll take the shoddy. I'll do this. And location number four is going to be right over here on this like little cliff. So again, we're going to use the wings. And there should be another one here. It doesn't really show on the map, by the way. So you have to be kind of observant to find them. Here we are. And inside we go. There we go. Okay, sadly, this one wasn't a, a mythic weapon, but you get the gist of it. You just keep flying around. I'll show you more locations, of course. Let me just go up here. I don't want to die, so let's go all the way up. So, I'll just chill here for a second. So, other locations would be uh, this spot right here, this spot right here, and this spot right here. I think I already pinged that. And, of course, you can go to Mount Olympus itself, and you'll find uh, a lot there. But you'll also find a lot of players, which is the problem. <laughs> like, that's the main problem, uh, to be honest. And, of course, the main way to do this is to challenge the bosses. In case you're new to the game and you don't know how the bosses work, let me just ping for you where they are and what you can do to challenge them. So let me just go here. So every boss is going to have this column right here. And uh, you basically just go ahead and challenge the column itself. You find a statue, you drop it down, and you can challenge the boss. Uh, there's uh, four bosses in total. There's one boss right here at Ares, the god of uh, of war, at Brawl's Battleground. There's Zeus at Mount Olympus. There's uh, uh, Cerberus, the guardian of uh, the underground at Grim Gate. And then, of course, uh, Hades, the king of the underground, or the god of the underground, at the underworld. So basically, that is the... Uh, that's that's these are all the four spots that you can fight the bosses in but yeah that's the basic idea just you know uh like collect yourself five mythics in total and that should could be the quest for this week one seasonal quest since you have to search rare chests or safes so one of the best ways to open rare chests is to open one of these uh weapons bunkers which are a new thing that appears on the map as you can see here they are right here you can see the icon for them on the map they appear after the second storm circle uh closes so as you can see there's one here one here, one here, so on and so forth. So all you have to do is just make your way to one of these weapons bunkers. And inside of them, you're going to find a bunch of rare chests. At least two, if not three. So as you can see, I found three right here. So I'm just going to open that. I'm going to open this. And then we're going to open this one right over here. And that, my friends, is three out of five. So you can go ahead and find yourself some uh, some more like weapons bunkers. For example, I'll make my way to this spot or to this spot. Or you can exit the game and just uh, play again until the second storm circle closes and you'll find more. And yeah, this is like the best way, in my opinion, to open these rare chests. Just open five in total and that should be the quest. For this week one seasonal quest, since you have to travel distance while airborne, you need to travel 2,000 meters. Now you can either go ahead and buy the wings of Icarus from a certain character. Let me just remember which one it was. Let me just scroll down through these really, really fast. I'm pretty sure one of them sold it. Yeah, there we go. Marigold sells the, uh, sold, sells the uh, wings of Icarus and she's located right over here. So it's going to be right here at this little villa. So you can go ahead and buy the Icarus wings from her if you want. But if they cost 300 gold and they do expire after a certain duration. So you cannot stay in the air for long. But of course, if you use a jump pad, it's actually much, much easier. Especially this jump pad right here, which is on top of a mountain. Which is going to give you a lot of travel time in the air, as you can see. So you just keep spamming this over and over and over again until 2,000 meters are up. So let me just ping the location exactly of the mountain. It's going to be right over here. So just stand there and just keep spamming the same jump pad over and over again until the quest is completed. It's literally as simple as this, my friends. 
For this week one seasonal quest, essentially you have to spend 100 bars, so this is pretty pretty easy. The easiest way to do this is to land at a uh, character location and just buy two things from her. So for example, uh, if you go at Hope, you can literally uh, spend 500 gold bars really really easy. So I'm gonna buy this sniper rifle right here, and I'm gonna uh, use the rift. So let me just first ping the location for her, it's she's gonna be at the Grand Glacier right here. Which, don't worry, is gonna be a super empty PUI, it doesn't have any of the, uh, any of the NPCs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and activate a rift here. And there we go, as you can see, 500 gold bars spent and you get to rotate out of the PUI itself. So this is literally one of the easiest ways to spend 5 gold bars for this quest. For this week 1 seasonal quest, it says you have to damage opponents while at full shields. So just make sure that you have 100 shields total, so as you can see I have 100 shields right here. And then you don't need to really fight uh, uh, enemy players, you just need to find yourself some NPCs. You can go for forecast towers for example, or you can go and find like fight for example Zeus or one of the bosses if you want. And you just need to make sure that you deal 100, 200 damage while at full shields. So let's go ahead and find these, uh, fight, find these NPCs. There we go. And there it is. So that's 200 damage already. So let's finish these up. And there it is. So that's the basic idea. Just make sure you are at 200 shield when you deal the damage. And that should be the quest. For this week one seasonal quest, the you have to deal damage to opponents with uh, with common weapons, meaning that all of your weapons have to be common, as you can see. So it doesn't matter that I died, all that matters is that I dealt damage, and the damage has to be with common weapons. So if it's an uncommon weapon, it doesn't work, if it's a rare weapon, it doesn't work, it has to be a grey a gray weapon, meaning that it is the lowest of the low, and that's why uh, my damage was uh, subpar there, and I lost the fight, I didn't really use any of my rare weapons, and this guy thinks he did such a great job defeating me, but he doesn't know that I'm a YouTuber, and I got this on record, and everybody's gonna see it, over 16,000 people are gonna see it, but yeah, uh, yeah, that's the basic idea, guys, so just deal I think 200 damage in total, I'm not too sure about the amount of damage, but make sure you run around with grey weapons and deal damage of course. This works much better in team rumble mode because you keep like uh, respawning on over and over again. And yeah, that's the basic idea, just do that and that should with the quest. For this week 2 seasonal quest, it says you have to deal damage to opponents from below. So make sure the opponent is higher than you and luckily we have this dude who is camping here. I think he thought I didn't see him, which is kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's kind of, that's actually funny. So, like I said, make sure the opponent is higher than you. You can also crouch and deal damage to somebody who's in front of you. I think this counts as somebody being uh, higher than you. Uh, you can also do this in Team Rumble mode. I highly recommend it. You can just, you know, uh, you, you can camp on the ground. People are going to be spawning from the sky. And it's your job, of course, to deal as much damage as you can to them. You need to deal a total of 500 damage in total. And that should be the quest. For this week's seasonal quest, it says you have to uh, collect epic or higher rarity weapons from eliminated players. So let's go ahead and eliminate this player right here. Hey there, buddy. And as you can see, once you eliminate somebody, they drop a bunch of weapons. This guy had the uh, hammer pump shotgun, which is a, an epic. And ooh, he had the chains of Hades. Yo, that is so cool. So let's grab that. So that's two out of out of, uh, out of five, I believe. So yeah, we just need, you need to uh, do this over and over again. Make sure to eliminate players and collect their epic weapons. And the truth with the quest. For this week two seasonal quest, it says you have to travel 1,000 meters within 30 seconds of landing from the battle bus. So as you can see, I just jumped off the battle bus. And you need to make sure that you land on the ground. So you have to hit the ground running. And the best place to do this is to go right over here to this mountain top. So let me just ping it for you guys. It's gonna be this right over here because this mountain top has a jump pad on top of it and yeah you can use that jump pad to travel over and over again it's gonna help you uh, like complete the quest almost instantly so first uh, uh, like first step is to literally hit the ground so you need to verify that here we go so this is the first part just gotta hit the ground and hop and then part two is to literally just travel and what's better than uh, gliding all around the map and you can just keep gliding over or over around the uh, the same like jump pad. You need to glide slash travel for 1000 meters, which should be easy enough. Again, you have to do this within 30 seconds. If time's up, then you can just, you know, uh, start the game again and just do it uh, like uh, a second time. But I believe one is more than enough. So we should be nearing around 20 seconds. And for the last 10 seconds, we're just going to use the jump pad again. And this time we're just going to keep going to whatever we want. 
And yeah, this is like the basic idea. Just do this and that should complete the quest. It's as simple as this. For this week 2 season quest, since you have to talk to Artemis, Aphrodite, Medusa or Poseidon to receive free items, you need to talk to 3 of these 4 NPCs. So we're gonna start with uh, Aphrodite, which is gonna be located right over here at this villa. So it's gonna be south of the map as you can see. And then we're gonna go to Medusa and then we're gonna go to Poseidon, because these 3 are the closest 3 to each other. So I highly recommend you start with this path. Here we go. So we're gonna make our way over here. There's also a car in the uh, train station that we can take to travel around. So Medusa, sh not, not Medusa, Aphrodite should be right over here. Here we go. In the back. We'll grab the weapon first. Just in case somebody decides to be a hero. So this is Aphrodite. As you can see, when you talk to, uh, to somebody, they will give you a free item. As you can see, we got ourselves the uh, shield pot for free. Here we go. We're going to take that. And now we're going to take the car in the car and the uh, gas station. Actually, we'll take, we'll take this. Here we go. This one is faster. So let me ping the next location. It's going to be right over here at the end of, uh, uh, of fencing fields. So let's go there. So that's where we're going to find Medusa, by the way. And right after that, we'll go to uh, Poseidon, of course. Just got to make sure we don't run into any sweats. Here we are. There we go. Okay, so this is Medusa, as you can see. Hey there. And we can talk to her. She gave us another free uh, shield pot, which is nice. This is kind of lucky. You don't usually get this lucky. Here we go. Just gonna get in the car. And then we're gonna go to the final uh, location, which is gonna be right over here at Reckless Railways. That is where we're gonna find, uh, we're gonna find Poseidon. So I'm gonna skip ahead to us going there. Alright, here we are. So this is Reckless Railways. We had to swap cars there because that one ran out of fuel. And we're just gonna go into the Grand Station. And that's where we're gonna find Poseidon. Here we are. So this is the third NPC out of the four. So this is him. And you can talk to them. Oh my god, we even got another big pot. Yo. <laughs> okay, so in case one of these NPCs does not work and you want to look for Artemis. So let me just ping Artemis for you guys. So she's going to be located right over here. Artemis is going to be at the at the front of uh, Lavish Lair. I don't know why uh, it doesn't have any names, like named locations anymore. This is weird. So Lavish Lair, uh, Artemis is going to be right here, just in case, you know, one of these NPCs doesn't work, or maybe they're gone, or uh, or eliminated. I think, I think this is a bot, and I only have one weapon. There we go. So yeah, like I said, just talk to any three of those NPCs, and that should be the quest. For this week 2 seasonal quest, essentially you have to hit headshots with Warforged Assault Rifle. So that's the newest Assault Rifle in the game, which is this right here. This is what it looks like, as you can see. So you can either find this randomly, or you can go ahead and buy it from NPCs. I'm gonna show you which NPC, but first, let's get some headshots. Now, headshots are not easy to get. We have these two, like, bots. So, just aim for the head. Come on. There we go, that's a headshot. Okay, that one is dead. Let's go to the next one. And I think that's two headshots out of three. Oh, we have more. We got one more over here. Let's aim for the head. As you can see, it's not as easy as you might think. There we go. That's two more headshots. So that's four out of five. So yeah, this is like the basic idea, guys. You just need to make sure to aim for the head with this weapon right here. And again, you can just go ahead and buy the weapon instantly from the Poseidon NPC, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which is going to be located right over here. Let me just go over here. So Poseidon is going to be inside the train station of Reckless Railway. So if you go right here, you'll find Poseidon. And you can buy the uh, the Warforged Assault Rifle for 300 gold, I believe. And yeah, just, you know, go around, find yourself some people and headshot them as, as much as you can. And yeah, do that five times and that should complete the quest. For this week 2 seasonal quest, it says you have to eliminate a player within 10 seconds of destroying a structure. So as you can see, we have a bot here, so we're just gonna make sure that they are a little bit weak. There we go. And then you have to you have to destroy a structure. So one more hit. Oh, he destroyed it, so let's destroy this one. So once you destroy the structure, you have 10 seconds to eliminate that player. Ooh, oh my god, I almost lost that. 
So like I said, just destroy a structure and then you got 10 seconds to eliminate the player next to you. And you need to do this in total like three times. One of the best ways to do this is to fight near these like wooden structures around the map. For example, this spot right here. So this is what I'm, uh, I'm at right now, this little shack right here. You can also do this in Team Rumble mode. It's much easier there. You can just uh, camp near a, a building, just destroy like a structure really, really fast. And since it's Team Rumble mode, you're going to see a lot of players dropping from the sky. And just try to eliminate them as they fight other people. Just do this three times in total and that will complete the quest. For this week's request, it's that you have to headshot two players with the hand cannon. So this is the hand cannon, as you can see. Uh, even though it's a common weapon, I really, really had a lot of trouble finding it. It took me like three to four games to find it. So whenever you find it, make sure to you to like do the quest as soon as you can. So basically, once you find it, you just need to find ourselves two players and headshot them, headshot them with the weapon. Which is not easy by any stretch of the imagination. Headshots are not really that easy, especially with with like with hand cannons. So let's go ahead and find ourselves some uh, some uh, victims. Here we go. I think we got somebody right here. Gotta aim for the head. There it is. That's one headshot. So, like I said, this is not easy at all. So, make sure you aim for the head as best as you can. Oh, I see somebody else over there. So, let's go ahead and say hello. Let me just take this banana of God. It's going to give us more uh, air time. Here we go. I see him. There it is. I have to get really, really close, man. So, yeah, as you can see, the quest has been completed. Just all you have to do is just do that. And that's it. Beautiful. For this week's request, it says you have to damage players while inside or briefly after exiting a Bubble Shield Junior. So, this is a Bubble Shield Junior right here. Let me just drop it for you guys. So, this one's going to look like it's an uncommon item. You can literally find it everywhere. And you can have a stack of two in total. And the idea is for you to drop it, go inside of it, exit it, and deal damage. So, we're going to test it out on this uh, player right here. Here we go. Hey there, buddy. So we're gonna drop it. We're gonna go inside and then we're gonna exit and deal damage. So I think that should be 150 if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's 100. So I guess he didn't have uh, as much HP. So yeah, that's the basic idea, guys. You know, you have to, so you can you can do this uh, like uh, uh, on two instances. And yeah, just do that and the truth could be the quest. It's literally as simple as that. For this week's request, it's such as to eliminate opponents in the underworld at night or at Mount Olympus during the day. So since it is uh, nighttime, as you can see, we have the stars and the moon. We are going to go ahead and land at the underworld. If it was daytime, we would land at Mount Olympus. So depending on the time of your game, each, each game has a different time, by the way. So since it's nighttime, we are going to go to the underworld right over here. I just need to eliminate as many players as possible. Uh, this would work in Team Rumble mode, but you can't really um, you can't really control like the zone in Team Rumble, and the zone is mostly around like this area. Sometimes it's around this area, so you don't really get like an underworld zone or a Mount Olympus zone. So you're gonna have to do this in uh, either either like solos or squads. Highly recommend squads because you can just you know uh, eliminate some people from a squad, let their squad mates revive them, and then you can eliminate them again. I think you need to eliminate ten people in total. Let me just check. Yeah, ten players. So we can do that. Also, it does say it does say that you need to eliminate opponents, so it should work on the on the NPCs. But we'll see. Let's just grab this uh, this underworld chest. Nice. That's a good that's a good start. All right, here we go. I see someone here. Nice. That's one out of ten. He was hiding from somebody, so I'm assuming that somebody's gonna show up really soon. Let me just grab this, remove that. We'll take that. And we'll take the heals since we don't have any shields. So I'm pretty sure somebody is, uh, is camping here. But just to step, just, oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I want out. <laughs> Alright, so we got a camper. That's not a problem. This is the problem with these, like, uh, with these PYs, man. People are super, super campy. Oh, he used the wings to go up. Okay, I see him. Let's just heal up here a little bit. Again, this is gonna take a while to do, but I just want to test it on the um, on the uh, NPCs because I'm pretty sure it works. So let me really fast. Just gonna do this. And then we're gonna get away. Now we're gonna just you know eliminate the, the NPCs that are gonna spawn. Here we go. 
There we go. Okay, it works, works. That's two out of ten. So I highly recommend you do this on the APCs. You can avoid like the real players. Just be sure that people are gonna show up and eliminate you, so you gotta be careful. Come on, one more bullet. Nice, that's 7 out of 10. Let me just go back here. Yeah, just 3 more. That's 8 out of 10. I do need to heal. Otherwise I'm screwed. So apparently the Hades NPC gives you around 8 NPCs to fight. And of course, if you if you defeat him, you can also get the you can also get the tenth elimination. Ooh. Nine out of ten. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not gonna die. I'm not gonna die to you. I'm pretty sure he's gonna stay here and camp. So. Let's go. Oh, we got another another NPC. I think that's 10 out of 10. Let me just go here. Oh, 9 out of 10. Okay, we need one more. The other dude is camping. I'm 100% sure. Yeah, he's outside. Let's go ahead and eliminate them. There it is, nice. So there we go. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. So the reason why it stopped counting, I get, I did get like the NPC and the other and the other dude. But since it is daytime, as you can see right here outside, it doesn't count anymore, man. Okay, that's kind of unlucky. But yeah, you get the gist of it. This is why it would stop for you as well. So since it is daytime, I can just go to Mount Olympus, get another elimination, or of course I can just reset my game, see what time it is, and just land at either locations. But yeah, that's the basic idea, guys. Just do that, and that should complete the quest. For this week's request, it says you have to collect Olympian powers, mythic weapons, or aspects of the gods in a single match. So as you can see, I already picked up this right here and another mythic weapon. And I'm going to go ahead and collect another mythic weapon. I don't know why th what this good is good doing. Come on, exit. So this counts as an Olympian power. So if I pick that up, it counts as you can see. Let me just go, go here. Ooh. I don't want to die. We just crouch. Yeah, there we go. So as you can see, that's a, uh, an Olympia power, a mythic weapon, and an aspect of the god. You can collect these by simply just, you know, opening chests. You can buy the drum gun, the mythic drum gun, from the Midas NPC right here on the yacht. And the other uh, powers you can just simply find uh, all around the map. They are literally everywhere. This guy really wants to die now. So like I said, just, you know, go around the map. Defeat the bosses, get them the Olympia powers. Make sure you do this in a single match, by the way. You just you just need to collect three in total, and that should be the quest. For this week's request, you essentially have to hit different players with mythic weapons. So you basically just, you know, find yourself a player and make sure that you have a mythic weapon and just deal damage to them. We got somebody here. Come on. There we go. So, like I said, it just counts. As you can see, you just need to hit the mouse. You don't need to eliminate them. Just hit the 10 players with uh, different mythic weapons. You can use, for example, the drum, uh, the Midas drum gun, which is a mythic weapon that you can buy from the Midas NPC right here on the yacht west of the uh, west of the map. Or, of course, you can collect like the different mythics that other people have. I think this guy has a mythic. Nope, this is a legendary. Okay, none of them have mythics. You can also, like I said, get the mythics from the uh, from the Olympian chest all around the Mount Olympus right here, or the Underworld chest or all around the Underworld PUI, or of course you can get the powers like from the gods, those work as well. And yeah, just hit 10 players and that should be the quest. For this week's request, you should have to collect shield potions. You need to collect 10 in total. And as you can see, these are the shield potions. You have a choice between a big shield potion or a small shield potion. And all you gotta do is just collect this stuff. So if I collect all of these, it will just keep counting. Uh, of course, you can't like spam this, so for me... Oh, actually, actually you can. Oh my god, I did not expect that. Okay, let me just keep spamming it then. <laughs> Alright, so all you need is one big pot and one shield uh, me, and you can literally just 
keep picking the same thing over and over again until it completes like automatically as you can see. But yeah, just do that and that should complete the quest. It's a nice little trick.